your extended forecast. This Wednesday morning, we have a line of heavy thunderstorms with tropical downpours and frequent lightning moving through the northeast. More on that situation shortly. First stop, the tropics. Still pretty active this morning with a couple of systems in the Atlantic to watch. One is tropical storm Alberto in the mid-Atlantic. Not a concern to any land, but it continues to spin around out here in the North Atlantic, actually moving to the southwest at this hour towards warmer water. So it's, at the very least, will maintain its strength could even intensify once again uh, somewhat, but again, no concern to anything but the shipping that happens to be out in this region. A couple tropical waves here, one off the west coast of Africa, another one west of the islands, and a weak tropical wave uh, through the region just east of Cuba to an area just east of the Bahamas. No organization seen there anytime in the near future. Latest on Alberto, 35.2 north, 40.6 west. 45 mile per hour top sustained winds moving to the southwest at 9. This is a tropical wave, low pressure center, flare up of thunderstorms Af off the African continent. Another one in the mid Atlantic, as I showed you, mid tropical South Atlantic. On the other hand, the islands in excellent shape. Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands south of Grenada should have another nice day. Yes, there may be a few uh, early morning showers and then some squally weather late in the afternoon, but no tropical organization. The uh, Caribbean's looking good. The Gulf of Mexico in fine shape as the remnants of barrel move across the mountains of northern Mexico with some locally heavy rainfall. Off the uh, west coast of Mexico, tropical storm Ileana, 2 a.m. position, 22.6 north, 113 west, 195 miles west-southwest of Cabo San Lucas on uh, Mexico's Baja California Peninsula. It's moving west at 10s, top sustained winds 65 miles per hour, and 994 millibars. The good news is this uh, storm really didn't uh, take shape or strengthen as much as expected, and it really just brushed the southern part of Baja California yesterday with some gusty winds, but, but no damage and not much in the way of rainfall. Tropical Depression Hector heading out to sea. Here's Ileana and Hector, just a swirl of low clouds, uh, just a bit, a few hundred miles to the west of our tropical storm in this position. Let's find out what's happening across the lower 48 as we exit the tropics. And there's a lot happening this morning, including cool high pressure dropping down out of Canada and hot high pressure in the south. It's not hot this morning. In fact, it's pretty nice in the southeast, but by the end of the day, one of the hottest days of the summer could develop in Atlanta with highs in the upper 90s after 60s and 70s to start things off. Showers and storms northeast and uh, a few showers from Nebraska to the Dakotas. A couple lightning strikes, but numerous, even continuous lightning strikes in the Northeast, especially around the Capital District, south of the Catskills and the lower Hudson Valley at this hour. Closing in on this line of thunderstorms, heaviest activity right on the throughway up across the Northway to Western Vermont, New York City, showers and thunderstorms are approaching from the West. Expect heavy downpours of rain, a lot of lightning, maybe some small hail as these thunderstorms come through, but they should be a mainly morning event for New York City after they uh, roll through the region, the winds will shift and drier air will move in this afternoon as it will into Philadelphia, Harrisburg, and certainly into Pittsburgh. Here comes the cold front. Behind it, some very nice conditions across the Great Lakes. It's going to be fair but hot in most of the south, cool and dry for the Great Lakes, while thunderstorms will be the story of the day, some severe in the plains, especially the Missouri Valley region this afternoon. But check Chicago out, looking nice. Cleveland, an excellent summer day. New York City, thunderstorms early this morning, becoming mostly sunny, less humid this afternoon, while thunderstorms in Boston could occur later this morning with another round in the evening. 86, 90 in D.C., 70s in Pittsburgh, 98 the high in Atlanta, even hotter in Dallas but expect 70s in Seattle. What can you expect for the weekend? Well, that's our next stop. Cheryl? Temperatures have been searing hot across the
your extended forecast. Good morning to you. Thanks for joining us for Stormwatch. Of course, it's the time that we look at the tropics, and the past few days we've been following Burrow in the uh, western Gulf of Mexico, plus Alberto. Alberto is still out there with the latest on those two tropical systems and what could be coming up in the next few days. Let's head over to our expert desk with our hurricane expert, John Hope. Thanks very much, Rich, and good morning, everybody. Uh, we don't have anything immediately threatening. Let's have a look, though, out over the Atlantic Ocean. We'll show you what we do have. We have a couple of tropical waves out there we're taking increased interest in. Uh, they're pretty far out. Uh, one, the westernmost one, is about 850 miles now east of the Leeward Islands, and it's moving toward the west about 12, 15 miles an hour. It is showing a little bit more organization uh, than it was, but not really very much. There's some evidence of a little rotation there. And then the next one is way over here, uh, just off the coast of Africa, south of the Cape Verde Islands, and that also is moving west. So we have a long time to watch those. Uh, barrel is, uh, tropical depression barrel is dissipated over the uh, mountains of uh, northern Mexico. Alberta was still out there and taken quite a circuitous path here. It is now moving toward the southwest. And eventually it's expected to curve around and go back toward the northeast. And it's gonna take a few days to do that. The winds are 45 miles an hour and moving currently toward the southwest at about 13 miles per hour. Now looking at the uh, satellite picture, it's still fairly well organized, it appears. Again, we expect this motion to be toward the southwest and then curve over a period of several days back up to the northeast. It's not gonna threaten any land at all. This is the westernmost tropical wave and the uh, some evidence of a circulation center right about in here. And again, this is about 850 miles to the east of the islands. So we'll be watching that very carefully over the next day or two to see whether we get any more development. And then farther out in the Atlantic, we have the system that is south of the Cape Verde Islands right here. That too seems to show a little bit more organization. So those are the two main systems we have to be concerned about now out in the Atlantic Ocean. Now in the Pacific off the coast of Mexico, we still have Iliana out there and it's moving though away from land. All the warnings have been taken down and the winds are down to 60 miles an hour. This is no longer any threat to any land area at all. Here it is on the satellite picture and we seem to see pretty good evidence that that is actually weakening this morning. Finally, way out in the mid-Pacific, we have tropical storm Wena, which is 45 miles an hour. That's more than 1,500 miles from Hawaii, and it's moving toward the north, expected uh, to continue to do that. That'll be it this time for the tropics. Now let's go back to Rich. And as we look across the country, later today, we're expecting two different areas of thunderstorms to build up. One of those locations, is up through the Midwest, uh, Iowa back on into North Dakota. That's actually happening right now where we're getting the showers and the storms. For you across the Northeast, perhaps a main south of Boston, maybe New York City, thunder showers redeveloping late this afternoon. More about today's weather with Viv and Jeff. That's coming up right after this. You work out every day. You eat right every day. With all you do to take care of your body, shouldn't you do the same for your eyes? If you wear contacts, clean them with Solo Care, the multi-purpose solution that removes proteins and kills the germs on your lenses that can harm your eyes. So when you clean your lenses with Solo Care, you help your eyes stay just as healthy as the rest of your body. Solo Care. Care for your eyes every day. It is wet. No, it's... It's very, very slippery. I would... The wet tire's ready. The wet tire's ready. Be careful. Last left. Last left. Now I think the chicken flag is out. It has been caught by this side. Cut into a horn. They come across the line. This is nothing. This is not. This is nothing. You should see 
we've seen. We have seen some incredible stuff. Like the Coast Guard battling hurricanes, or how trade winds make Aruba the hotspot for wind surfing, or how NASA's number one... Good evening, everyone. This storm watch is sponsored by Allstate Insurance. Well, we have numerous tornado warnings, a couple in South Dakota and Nebraska. We'll talk about that in a minute. But let's get the latest on the tropics with our hurricane expert, Dr. Steve Lyons. Steve? Well, thanks, Kim, and we're climbing up into that uh, high-frequency period of the tropical season, this middle third of August. Let's see what we've got going relative to the long-term climatology for August. You can see 76 storms over about 110 years. That's about every, every two out of three years we would have a named storm during this time of year, and it turns out that that dot right there became Hurricane Barbara and ran over the Outer Banks of North Carolina in 1953 on this date. But that's not going to happen tonight. It's relatively quiet in the tropics, relative to tropical cyclone development. And we can see that we do have a couple of features of interest, though. We do have our, our tropical storm out here that's not affecting anybody. That's Alberto. We have a tropical wave here that's about two days away from the islands. It's going to run into a little more hostile environment. This tropical wave over here could become a problem down the road as well. It has a rather powerful mid-level vortex to it. The rest of the tropical Atlantic basin is relatively quiet tonight. Let's go straight to those waves first. Now here's the, the Windward Island area here, and you can see that this is the area where the mid-level vortex is, but the low-level circulation seems to be along this axis. So it's a little bit off-center right now, and it's moving into a less favorable environment over the next 24 hours. So that's probably going to be a little, little bit uh, uh, problematic for this to develop, but it's going to bring some showers and gusty winds to the islands in a few days. This system here is not showing much signs of deep thunderstorms, but look at that little vortex in there. That nasty little hook there shows that we have a rather powerful mid-level vortex. We're going to have to watch this the next several days. It's relatively far to the south, and it may uh, skirt a little bit farther to the south in the less hostile environment as it moves to the west. Gulf of Mexico tonight, some dying showers in the middle. The rest of it's high pressure. No worries there. Uh, if you're out in the Mariners, uh, it's, it's good weather out there. Caribbean, same thing. Not much going on in the Caribbean. Upper level westerlies, we're in good shape. And here's our tropical storm out here in the Central Atlantic, moving to the southwest, not affecting anybody right now. Winds 45 miles per hour, moving to the west-southwest at 15 miles per hour. Now to the Eastern Pacific, we have a couple of little vortices out here. These are what are remnants of our old tropical storms and hurricanes, and they're not going to cause any harm. The tropical depression, Ileana, and the other one is discontinued its advisory right now, so we're left with a 35 mile per hour wind. Let's get back to that severe weather with Kim now, see what she's got going for All right, thank you, Dr. Lyons. Yes, we have severe weather across the Midwest tonight with our front right here, right with the warm front where the air is converging right in there. The best shear, too. We have the southeasterly winds at the surface. In the upper levels, we have southwest to westerly winds. So that'll get those thunderstorms rotating. That's what we call shear. And that's why there is a tornado watch in effect, including Omaha tonight. Here's a closer look. Sioux Falls also in this watch and Sioux City as well. Now, again, we have tornado warnings out with this cell right here. This is Knox County. You're under a warning here in Nebraska. And then just to your north, Bon Helm and Yankton County under tornado warnings now. The cell is not into Yankton County yet, but folks in Yankton County should be taking cover now. Everybody, uh, Knox County, Bon Homme, and Yankton County, take cover now. Interior room, get to the lowest level of your home if you don't have a basement, and stay away from the windows tonight. We also have some thunderstorms here in Virginia and North Carolina that could be producing not only some very heavy rainfall, but maybe even some large hail. So that's it for Stormwatch. Coming up next, we'll talk about what's happening around the rest of the country and all about the heat and the poor quality or air quality in the South. That's next in Weather Center. This program was sponsored by Allstate. You're in good hands with Allstate. What if you cause a serious accident? How much coverage should you have? Do you want lower premiums or a smaller deductible? What about rental car reimbursement? Some people say they can put a policy together in 15 minutes. I've never thought doing it fast was as important as getting it right. You're in good hands with Allstate. Mine. To find an agent near you, contact 1-800-ALLSTATE or visit our website at allstate.com.
have a rough ride in the Lixus RX300. It's not our fault. <laughs> I was only kidding. Hey guys, Genghis Khan just died. I'm sorry? I've got a story for you. Babe Ruth just hit number 600. Nice work, Tanya. I can't believe it. The British just captured Washington. They're burning down the city. We're gonna lose the war. No, Wayne, we win this campaign. Right, Giselle? Right. How do you know? Oh, I get it. You TV anchors just think you're so smart, don't you? Jim and John were competing for the same promotion. Then Jim got the amazingly quiet Genie Accelerator, which opens twice as fast. Jim got to work quicker. Jim got the big promotion. John works for Jim now. The Accelerator, only from Genie. As for this tropical update, I'm Sharon Resalton. Time now to check in on the tropical Atlantic, and then we'll check, check on the Pacific. We'll venture there. First, the Atlantic Basin, where we have a...